What's good y'all? It's your boy Just Chris and I'm back at it again with another video. Now today fellas, we got another go your own way compilation. Shout out to my brother Moments, his link to his channel will be in the description box below. He's actually about to hit 6,000 subscribers, so if you haven't gone over here and dropped him a sub, go drop him a subscription, you know what I'm saying? A like, a comment, and a share, you know what I'm saying? We out here waking up brothers, it's a beautiful thing, all right? Now fellas, before we get to the video, make sure you got yourself some water not only so you can stay hydrated during my videos but so you can take your daily rp all right and fellas make sure you got your masculinity badge equipped all right you need your masculinity badge equipped at all times it is essential to being to living a life of a masculine man all right never take it off it's masculinity badge 2021 all right now let's go ahead and get into the video um i cheated So you're, you're coming on and, and you're playing the violin to get everybody's feelings involved. Poor, empathetic girl who attracts the bad guy who's a narcissist. But then when they asked a few questions, you had a relationship with a guy for three years that you cheated on. Yep, I did. Hmm. I did. And I regret it. And you left um, him. Yeah. Okay. Reasons why modern women are trash, drink and party, empty, aren't loyal, BLM, tattoos, conversations as dry as the desert, facts, like they, they expect you, they, they're like, oh guys, you're so boring, or like, guys never have anything to talk about, but they got the nerve to send you hey. But when you send hey, it's a problem. No conversation skills, cake and makeup, facts, big attitude, facts, they don't want to be submissive, they're masculine, high body count, facts, listen fellas, never ask a woman her body count, she's either going to tell you a lie, or she's not going to, she's not, she's not going to tell you the truth, it's, you're not going to get the truth from her, do drugs, facts, nose and slash tongue rings, automatic whole tendency, all right, no trad values, stand for everything and nothing, Facts. I would never let a girl give me head. If I'm not willing to go down on a guy, why should they have to? Timothy bitch boy, professional pick me. When I have a girlfriend, I block every other girl on social media. It's called being loyal. Timothy bitch boy, professional pick me. You see, that's funny because she wouldn't do that for you. You see her guy friends, oh, they're just my guy friends or I see him as a brother. <laughs> Fellas, these are thought tendencies, all right? You, listen, she says any of this, you know what I'm saying? It automatically disqualifies her for a long-term relationship or or just have it being, being a girlfriend, all right? She has gone in the category as side chick material or, you know what I'm saying, just a fling, I ain't gonna take you serious, you still belong to the streets and I'm gonna let you roam the streets, okay? Cause you don't belong to me, you know what I'm saying fellas? She's not yours, it's just your turn, remember that fellas? I sleep fully clothed, that way my girlfriend can steal the blanket and I don't get cold. Timothy bitch boy, follow for more pick me quotes to live by. Yo Ra, you trying to come upstairs? Yeah sure, what are we gonna do? You know what you about to do baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! All right, let's go upstairs then. Wait, don't go in there. Have you ever had a Mickey Deluxe? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Let's find out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh hell no! Oh hell no! <laughs> Welcome to the Mickey Deluxe. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> we can't trust females no more, dog. That's fucked up, G. They are really damaging our youth. These female rappers make girls nowadays think that cheating on a dude, lying to a dude, using a dude, twerking on the gram, selling mm -hmm. their bodies is okay what happens to morals when the ex who morals went out the window when a when thoughts fucky but sucky but spirits decided to sell their body sell their soul 
on OnlyFans. And you know what's funny, fellas? If you look up what the average girl on Only makes, it's only about $168 a month. So you're telling me you sold, you're selling your soul, your body for only $168 a month. <laughs> That's an L, bro. That's an L, bro. Cheated on you text you years later. So you see, you see, that's the thing, fellas. Every time us men get cheated on or something goes wrong in a relationship, we always tend to blame ourselves. I see it all the time, especially in these reality shows, these dating shows. There's a show called Temptation Island, man. And it's crazy. Like these couples go on this show to test a relationship, to get tempted by some other thucky bishuka bish spirits. And like the women are getting tempted by the men as well, just to see if their relationship's gonna work. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, fellas. Modern day relationships are really messed up, bro. Like, like the the social media and all this shit has really, really fucked up the dating game. Like, it has really messed up relationships, bro. Like, women have way too many options, bro. Like, it's it's crazy, bro. And that's why so many men are playing just going their own way because it's just it's too much to deal with, bro. Like, not only you gotta make six figures, you gotta be there emotionally for it. And if you're not there emotionally, then it's just, it's just, it's way too much going on, bro. And these females' expectations is way too high when they bring nothing to the table. They don't wanna give you anything back in return on your investment, bro. I have a quick question for you guys. Do you think women are killing chivalry? Yes. Goddamn right, you killed it. And you beat the shit out of it on the way out the door, too. I'm going to end this argument with one thing most women have said and most guys have probably heard. Notice how I said most, not everybody. Oh my God, he's too nice to me. Do you realize how goofy you sound when you say that? Mm -hmm. We have two types of guys. We have the guys who will treat you like shit and the guys who, will, who won't. But the thing is, these are simps now. You guys don't like these guys anymore because they're being slanderized, so you don't want one. So all we have are the guys who will treat you like shit. And since they're not getting anything, they're going to become guys who will treat you like shit. So now this is all we have. And you know who created them? You know who gave them the chance? You. Blame yourself. This ain't on us anymore. Thanks. You killed chivalry and I hope you're fucking happy. I don't want to be this. Do you realize how horrible this is? How horrible it is to be this guy? God, it sucks. I want to be this guy, but nobody wants to give this guy a goddamn chance. Three types of women you need to avoid at all costs. Number one, the party girl. If she goes to parties every weekend, mm -hmm. do not cuff her. It will save your wallet and a lot of heartache. Number two, the girl that got Dariana friends. Birds of a feather flock together. Facts. So friends are Dariana's. I can guarantee you she want to run the other way. Number three, the girl with daddy issues. If her dad wasn't in her life, she usually has problems with attention. They'll usually get it from a multiple of guys. When you're not giving her attention, do me a favor and click that plus right there. Fellas, young men are waking up. I said a lot of these things that he said in multiple videos already. Is she out there going to the club? Is she clubbing? She belongs to the streets, all right? Girls only go to the club for one reason, and that's to get some D. That's it, fellas. They ain't going there just to have drinks and dance with their friends and have a fun time. Oh, no, no. They're looking for D. All right? They're looking for that alpha to go blow their back up, bro. Okay? And then another thing, the daddy issues, bro. 
Having both parents in the household is very essential, not to only to a man's life, but especially to a female's life. Because if she doesn't have that masculine figure, she she's going to have daddy issues. She's going to have problems with attention. And then she's going to have, see, what's going to happen is she's going to get a bunch of male friends, right? She's going to get a bunch of better male orbiters that are feeding her in this attention, all right? And whatever you give her, that attention that you give her, that validation that you give her is never going to be enough. All right. She's going to forever be like childish. Like it's going to take a long time for her to grow up. You don't want to deal with that, fellas. All right. Simple. He's just being friendly. He's nice. No, no. See, this is a problem, fellas. Girls will complain about weird guys hitting them up, like on Instagram, you know, flooding their DMs and spamming them and shit. They will complain to you about that to you, but they won't actually get rid of the problem. Like, it's easy. You just, there's one, there's one, there's a button called the block button, all right? There's a button called the block button. All you got to do is press that block button, but you see, fellas... Females love the attention, bro. Some females just love the attention and the validation. This is why I don't like social media, bro. Like when I go on social media, I'm, bro. I don't like females' pictures no more, bro. I'm not gonna give you that validation. I'm just not, bro. Your attention is valuable, fellas. You don't understand how much are like how valuable you are, bro. Like a lot of y'all don't see that you're the prize, bro. Because without our attention, a lot of these females will feel worthless, bro. They will feel like they're ugly, even though they're very attractive and very beautiful, bro. Your attention is currency, bro. You 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 take that attention away, bro. It's wraps, bro. I'm trying to I'm trying to tell you, fellas, bro. for the best you see fellas when she said she's going to the friend's house bro listen anytime a girl says your girlfriend said she's going to her friend's house just know there's a possibility that she is going to cheat on like if she doesn't give details like she's like oh i'm just going to my friend's house even if she does give you details fellas there's a possibility that she's cheating on you bro you see females leave mentally before they leave physically out of relationship she was already one foot out of the relationship right? you know what i'm saying and this is the thing bro like like fellas that's what i'm saying like a girl cannot listen males and females we cannot be friends truly I, I, this is this is just facts bro like you cannot truly be friends because eventually there's going to be some attraction that is gained and you're going to like each other that's why i say males and females like we just can't be friends bro there's always going to be some sexual attention like unless like that girl is like butt ugly like like butt butt ugly you know what i'm saying you, especially in a relationship bro like that, that's not a thing bro and a lot of guys are this is how a lot of guys get cheated on bro and this is fucked up but this is true bro it's true Energy made this one. if you support cardi b or megan Thee stallion i honestly have no respect for you facts i know y'all saw that grammy performance that was literally free on national television with kids watching how the fuck do you still support them after that? Also, how the fuck do you listen to their music and think that's actual music? It's trash, right? Rapping about your badge for three minutes straight is not creative. And the fact that Megan won a Grammy proceeded to thank God for her success. Ah, ah, fellas, she's a sucky bitch, stocky bitch spirit. Cue the cell laugh. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.
I'm sorry, but God doesn't support your music, hun. Both of them are horrible human beings who've never done anything to contribute to society. If you disagree, you got hella issues. You see, fellas, you know what I'm saying? They like to say that men, you know, we, we sexually objectify them, but they actually do it to themselves. You know what I'm saying? You rapping about your badge three minutes straight on a on a song talking about wop, 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 and how wet it get, but then you get mad when a man only sees you, you know, he only sees you for that. You know what I'm saying? He only wants that one thing from you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all you got to offer is the badge. You don't want to cook or clean. Like, like what else am I going to do with you? Why, why, why else would I want to talk to you, bro? Why would I want to have a conversation with you if this is all you rap about? And then you got little girls, 12-year-old girls, 15-year-old girls, 18 through 20 and 30, and even older women looking up to this and saying this is okay. This is all an agenda. This is an imperative that is pushed to these young women, and it's the oversight sex sexualization of women. And this shit is honestly sick, bro. I got, I got a cousin that's a girl, bro. Like, I don't want her seeing that. Over there stripping on the pole and stuff. Like, what is this, bro? The kids watch this. It's not okay. Our society has, has strayed so away from morals, bro. Like, it, it's it's so sad. Like, that shit, it's not cool. That ain't cute. It's not cute. Yeah. You said you okay. I can take you there. Yeah. That's all you gotta do is Woman make no sense. I'm sorry. If you're a woman, a girl, whatever, and you get offended by this, I'm sorry. I'm not misogynistic. I'm just a little bit mistaken because how y'all all body positivity, yes, girl, shake your booty, free the tibbies, wear that bikini, body positivity. But when I'm body positivity, now it's why you liking that bitch's photos? Why you all up in this girl like shaking her ass? I thought we was all body positivity. <laughs> I thought we was all, all, all part of the same cause. Because last week, when you was at the club popping bottles off your friend big ass forehead on Snapchat going, yes, girl, shake your ass. It's body positivity. But when I like a photo of a girl who got a little bit more body positivity than you, now it's, oh, she a tut. She a hoe. <laughs> I thought we was all part of the same cause. I'm just confused. Someone tell me, please. Reasons a guy has probably given up on love. All the things she lists are very interesting, but from the male perspective, not so on point. The main reason why a man gives up on love is because he realizes it makes him foolish. Thanks. It blinds him to the realistic things that are in front of him. The red flags that potentially will come up later in the relationship. He notices that the more he does, the less respect he gains. Mm -hmm. And as he loses more respect, the things that he used to gain become less and less. And since women are attracted to bad boys or guys that display masculine traits, his love gets seen as weak. He gets casted aside like a tool that was used and not needed. So mm -hmm. he becomes the bad boy to which that woman will desire. All in all, killing the nice guy inside of him. Because no guy wanted to be that way. And that's my critique. Ladies, would you rather have an amazing husband, but no sex, or a husband that gives you the best sex of your life, but otherwise useless? Let's take a look at the comments. I'ma stay single, thanks. Would this amazing husband allow me a boy toy? Aren't they all useless anyway? Now let's check out some more comments. I choose to stay single, neither. 100% the first one, and just cheap. Amazing, but rich. Then in the comments, one of the ladies had the great idea of saying, ask the fellas this question. So, he did. Fellas, would you rather have an amazing wife but no sex, or a wife that gives you the best sex of your life, but otherwise is totally useless? Let's see some of those comments. Here are some of the guys' comments. No sex and useless is my go-to. Okay. No sex, okay. I'll take both, thanks. Hug. I just need a hug. So realize how the guys are just, they would rather have someone than not cheat, but the girls would rather cheat. What the fuck? Come on, bro. Ha, ha, ha. You know what's crazy? Ha, ha, ha. They were saying, they were saying that a woman is, is useful. Ha, ha. But hey, fellas, fellas, hey, hey, think about this. What does a woman bring to a relationship other than the badge? <laughs> <laughs> Peace.
accepted your child. <laughs> He's laughing. I'm slapping the shit out of you. <laughs> he accepted your child. You didn't give him a child. And you start <laughs> cheating on him. Were you cheating on him with your baby daddy? Yeah. You trash biznatch. Wow. I'm tell. Oh ma'am, I'm getting that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're trash. You divorced your husband, and then you cheated on him with your baby daddy when he accepted your child, a child that's not even his, with full arms. Yes, you're trash. 100%. You need to hear that. And Kevin Samuels is holding y'all accountable, man. This is why this is why I mess with Kevin Samuels, bro. Everybody in the masculinity gang mess with Kevin Samuels, bro. Because this dude is the truth. He don't care, bro. He's unfiltered. He gonna speak the truth. And this is what y'all modern women need to hear, bro. Because honestly, there's no accountability in y'all. She over here sitting here laughing like it's funny. It's not funny. This isn't no game, bro. You can really, you can really, you can really hurt a man's soul, bro. This is why so many, like, this is why, like, this is, uh, I don't even want to say that, but like, like, fellas, this is why a lot of men are depressed and lonely. You know what I'm saying? It's because there's evil, sucky, bestocky, but spirits out there that do this and they think it's funny. She's laughing, fellas. Ain't shit funny about this. I meant that. That's trash, ma'am. That is some trashy shit. That is some trashy shit. It was. It was very trashy. It was. Okay, guys, are you done eating? Yeah, can we get two checks? Um, hey, two checks? Um, my friend is here. Like, was you not gonna pay for me? <laughs> I said I'm paying for you. <laughs> well, you are a man, right? Well, since you're a woman, go make me a sandwich. Mmm. Some mayonnaise on it. Um, excuse me? You can't tell me what I have to do just because of my gender. Interesting. Listen, if you're broke, just say that. <laughs> if you want to get punched in your jaw, just say that. Excuse me? Hey! Whoa, sir. What is the problem here? There's a problem? <laughs> How you gonna solve it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, calm down, babe, please. We was having a good day. Listen, boo, you better calm your man down. Why your wig just moved? What? <laughs> okay, sir, you better calm down. Hey, where's my... Hey, bro, that's the funniest TikTok I've ever seen, bro. No cap, even though TikTok is pretty trash, bro. But hey, fellas, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys go check out my boy Moments, the creator of this compilation. You know what I'm saying? He's about to hit 6,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Go show the brother some love. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video with a simp, save his life. It's been your boy Just Chris, Masculinity Game 2021, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.